My name is Ruby, and I'm age eight, and I go to Merrimack School. Why do fresh cheese cur curds squeak? I'm uh, Mark Johnson. I'm a distinguished scientist here at the Wisconsin Center for Dairy Research. This is a, a curd that's probably a few hours old. And what goes on when we manufacture cheese is we clot the milk, we remove some of the water, and we end up with, at the end, a curd like this, where the proteins in, in this um, cheese form a mesh. That mesh is held together with um, calcium, and it's tough. So when you bite through this curd piece, it resists you biting through it, and that resistance causes it to squeak because it's rubbing across your teeth. With age, a week, that calcium dissolves from the protein, and it makes the protein soft. So now when you chew it, there's no friction, and you lose the squeak. However, if we put it in a microwave oven, we cause the proteins to reform and get tough again. And you bite it, it resists, you get a squeak. But one more thing. If I take this cheese curd and let it sit in my refrigerator for two months, something else goes on. That protein starts to break apart because of an enzyme that we use to make the cheese that, that breaks down the protein. When that happens, no matter what I do, it'll never reform, it will remain soft, no resistance when I bite through it, I don't get a squeak. So how do I get this curd to squeak and ship it to Texas or ship it to California and remain squeaky? It's gonna take two weeks to get there. So what I do is I can freeze it. If I freeze this curd, I then can thaw it out in California or in Texas and it's still like it's fresh. And it will retain its squeak once it thaws out, but only for about two weeks. After that, we lose the squeak.